Hey, Zancy. I always tell people out there that before you become a celebrity or you become a public figure, be very much ready for social media backlash and insults. And the moment you don't do things right, then most definitely you will end up in serious trouble. Apparently, Tolani might definitely be ending up behind bars already after there is some serious fired allegation crime all over his personality. Make sure to watch this video right up to the end because I have so much insider details for each and every one of you. But before I give them to you, you're welcome to my YouTube channel. Kindly subscribe to this YouTube channel, please. Like this video, drop a comment and hit on to my post notification bell. The infamous Zisoktola host Kolani Kumalo is in serious trouble. A group of black assassins rumored to possess extraordinary intelligence have set their sights on him. But what is the motive many people kept asking? It all boils down to the Controversial Protection of Personal Information Act, better known as the Poppy Act. Similar to the EU's GDPR, this legislation has sparked the interest of NGOs and the media as well, who are now determined to bring Kumalo down. Supporters of Kumalo argue vehemently that foreigners are the saviors of South Africa and must be safeguarded at any cost. It's like they consider these outsiders as the prodigal children of the nation, young and naive. But are they truly innocent? So many questions linger about the mysterious activities that occur during the show's breaks. Communication mysteriously shuts down and Kumalo's denials are both relentless and exhausting. However, when the cameras start rolling again, it's as if his guests have been transformed into singing canaries, divulging secrets left and right. And of course, so many people keep asking themselves what could be happening behind the scenes. There are so many speculations abound as to how Kumalo manages to extract such stunning confessions from his guests. Rumor has it that when the cameras are off, his methods turn sinister. Upon their return, the guests appear visibly distressed, struggling to communicate and drenched in sweat. Something nefarious must be going on, yet it is highly crucial to remember that the authorities cannot resort to physical violence such as beating or suffocating the chorus confessions. Let's not forget that Kumalo is not a law enforcement officer. He simply entertains Mojo Love's audience in exchange for a generous paycheck. The plot thickens as the conspiracy theory gains traction. Dark shadows loom over Trolani Kumalo's empire. The Poppy Act and the relentless pursuit of NGOs and the media add fuel to the fire. But now the big truth is, will the entire truth be unveiled? Are there unseen forces at the play, exploiting the vulnerable in the name of entertainment? You all tell me in the comment section what you think about all of this. I love each and every one of you from the bottom of my heart.